Are you in a constant battle to find your digital photos and files on your PC? Well, let me help you with my seven top tips for managing your files on Windows Explorer. Whether you're looking to organize your files or simply navigate more efficiently, I have got the top tips to help you master File Explorer in Windows. And make sure you stick around until the end because I'm gonna share a bonus tip that will change the way you use Windows Explorer forever. Tip one, customizing the quick access menu. First, let's talk about the quick access menu. This feature allows you to pin frequently used folders for easy access. To do this, simply right click on the folder and select pin to quick access. You can remove folders by right clicking again and selecting unpin from quick access. This is a great way to keep your most used folders at your fingertips. So put that folder of photos in the quick access now so you can always find it. Tip two, using the search function. Now let's make the most of File Explorer's search function. The search bar at the top right hand corner of File Explorer allows you to quickly find files. You can refine your search using filters like date modified, size and file type. For example, type date, colon this week to find files modified in the past week. This can save you tons of time when looking for specific documents. Tip three, sorting and grouping files. Another great way to keep you in control is to sort and group your files. In any folder, click on the view tab and you can see the options to sort by name, date, type, and more. You can also group files by the same criteria, which helps organize large folders. For instance, grouping by date modified can help you quickly locate your recent files or when dealing with photos and videos in one folder, I love to sort by file type so I can see what I have. Tip four, using preview pane. The preview pane is a handy feature that lets you see the contents of a file without actually opening it. To enable it, go to the view tab and click on preview pane. This works for many file types like PDFs, images, and text documents. It is a great way to quickly check a file's content or check out what exactly that randomly named photo file is. Tip five, renaming multiple files at once. Is that randomly named photo driving you nuts? And you want to rename an entire batch of them. Did you know that you can batch rename in File Explorer with no fancy apps needed? Select the files, right click and choose rename. Type in the new name and Windows will automatically number your files sequentially. Renaming, all done. Tip six, using the details pane. As well as the preview pane, there is also the details pane, which is a great way to see all of the metadata about your files, such as size, creation date, and more. To enable it, go to the view tab and click on the details pane. The feature gives you a quick overview of file information without opening the file. Tip seven, adding tags to files. Adding tags to files makes them easier to search. So right click on the file and select properties. Then go to the details tab. Here you can add tags to the tags field. Use descriptive tags to categorize and find files more efficiently. Although keep in mind, these tags can be a little bit tricky to find if you are then going to use those files on a Mac as why make it work the same on both systems? So before you go tag mad, make sure you can access those tags everywhere you will need them. Bonus tip. And now for the bonus tip. Did you know that you can use keyboard shortcuts to navigate File Explorer even faster? Just some of my favorites are, if you press the Windows key and E, it opens up File Explorer instantly. And if you do Control and N, it opens up a new File Explorer window. And if you press Control, Shift and N, you get a new folder 
instantly. So learning a few of these shortcuts can save you a lot of time. And there you have it, my top tips for sorting and managing your files in Windows Explorer. I hope you found these tips helpful. But how do you find your photos in the first place? Check out this other video here for the lowdown. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a little thumbs up and a subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.